Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome back to Fragmental. Thanks for joining me. Oils versus sprays, which is better? In this video, I'm going to share some of my real world experience and tell you how you can get nuclear. Stay tuned. Most of us probably know that oils are more concentrated, so therefore they will be longer lasting. And in theory, won't project quite as much because there's no alcohol in them. But that's not quite the experience I've had. I'm going to share all that with you. But first, let's start by taking a look at the main differences between oils and sprays. Sprays are oils plus water, O, and perfumers alcohol. The alcohol helps disperse the top notes in particular and give a wide projection for around about the first 30 to 60 minutes. As you can see in this example with Pardon, you'll generally get a much smaller quantity of oil because there is no water and alcohol in there. I mean, come on, how can you not love this titchy little bottle of Baby Pardon? This is the kind of fragrance I can imagine Baby Yoda wearing, little Grogu, having it in his little coat pocket and pull it out whenever he wanted to impress any of the other baby Yodas, he'd, he'd take out his little baby bottle of pardon, give himself a little, a little roll on. The force is strong. Speaking of the force and strength, I want to talk about the strength of oils and projection because I find that with a lot of oils, I'm not really getting that much less projection than with sprays. Sometimes I feel like they're so strong, they're so concentrated that they're projecting just fine, especially this one with Pardon and a few others I'm going to talk about in this video. But first, before I get into sharing my real world experiences, let's look at the pros and cons between sprays and oils. Let's start off with the pros of using a spray. They're often cheaper because there's not as much perfume in there. It's a lower concentration because it's diluted with oil and alcohol. There is more variety, obviously, of sprays. You know, there aren't oils available for every fragrance. Nasamato are a brand that do them, but most brands don't. I'm going to talk about that later in the video, how you can tackle that little problem. Generally, projection can be a little bit better for, for just about the first 30 to 60 minutes. Let's look at the cons. Because the oil concentration in sprays is lower, they're not as long lasting. They don't hang around on your skin for as long. So once they dry down, once the oil and the sprays dry down, an oil will last longer. Also, because the oils in a spray are diluted with alcohol and water, they generally don't smell quite as rich or as rounded to me. Moving on to the oils, one of the main pros of this is because it isn't diluted, it is the purest version of that smell. It's going to be richer, deeper and more rounded. If you love a fragrance, then if you want to smell it at its absolute best, the closest you can get to the purest form is the best it's ever going to smell. And for me, that is in an oil. Some sprays give you Apart from concentration, yes, they're a higher percentage of oils, but still they are diluted with some water and alcohol. So your favorite fragrance in its purest form will always smell its best as an oil. So it's rich and full bodied, it's longer lasting. Like I mentioned, it hangs around on the skin generally longer than a spray fragrance because it isn't diluted. And the other advantage is these little baby Yoda sized bottles, these are perfect for traveling with. If you're getting on a plane and you're not checking in baggage, you're just carrying on, then this is just the perfect thing to, to take in your toiletry bag. And it's not gonna take up much space, but it's gonna pack a lot of power. There's a lot of power contained in these little bottles. And also if you're just going out, maybe you're going on a night out or you've got an occasion, formal occasion, whatever, and you spray some pardon on and you wanna keep the fragrance going for a little bit longer. Maybe you're out for the whole day or it's a really long evening or night. You don't really want to be putting that in your pocket. Yeah, you can decant some out. You can, you can mess around with spraying some into a small decant bottle. But my advice and recommendation would be if you're spraying this on or even if you've started with this, just pop it in your pocket. You don't even know it's there. And every now and then, go to the toilet, have a little roll on and hey presto, you are smelling of your fragrance in its purest form once again, and that will last and last. It will still be projecting. Don't think oils don't project at all. Yes, some probably project more than others, but in my experience, most of the oils I've tried are still projecting as good as, if not sometimes better than the spray version. Oh, and another pretty positive thing to consider with these oils is the price of them. If you're buying, for example, a bottle of Nasmato's Pardon, generally around about 125 pounds, although, little plug, I am selling these at the moment for 114 pounds on my website, Looks Parfum. There will be a link in the description. We're also selling the oils. These four mil oils, we sell three four mil for 138 pounds. So they sort of match up in price. So you can get three four mil oils 
compared to one fragrance for around about a similar cost. I think these probably will last you just as long because each time you use a spray, you're going to use more. It's going to drain the bottle faster. Each time you use one of these roll-ons, then once you've rolled just a little bit on, it's smelling pretty strong. It's that concentrated. You don't really need that much of it. So one of these four mil oils is going to last you quite some time. Obviously, the other con with oils is not many brands make an oil version of that fragrance. So you've got much, much less variety. But as I said, more on that shortly. So there are the main differences between oils and sprays. Now I want to share some of my real world experience. Let's start with Pardon. I wore these both yesterday. I sprayed the spray on this arm and the roll on on this arm. And in terms of projection, I actually put the roll on first before I even put the spray on. And I just put it on this arm and a little bit on this wrist and it was projecting really nicely. My wife was in the room, she could smell it. I would have been very happy just applying the oil and not putting the spray on at all. It was projecting enough, I could smell it, I was really enjoying it and you're getting that lovely rich rounded smell because you've got the fragrance in its purest form. I then sprayed the EDP on this side. I gotta say that in terms of smell, in terms of the quality of the smell, the, the EDP wasn't far behind. These EDPs from Nasamato are pretty potent. So in terms of the quality, that rich rounded smell, it was fairly comparable, although not quite as much. The oil definitely did have the edge over it, but only by a little bit. In terms of projection, maybe this one was projecting just a little bit more for about 15 to 20 minutes, but I found after that they both settled down. The projection is not a deal breaker on this particular fragrance at all. I wouldn't say the projection on the oil is uh, is that much less than the spray that uh, that you wouldn't strongly consider wearing this one and just wearing this one on its own. In the morning when I woke up there'd been seven or eight hours between spraying it. EDP pretty much gone. Couldn't really smell anything but the oil was still going strong. So you've got that nuclear longevity going on with the oil. It will pretty much stay on your skin until you have a shower. Another great experience I had using an oil was with one from Sensilene, which is a company based in Leeds. Great guys, they make amazing fragrances. And I probably chose the wrong situation to wear this fragrance, but it did give me some important feedback, which I'm gonna go into now. So the fragrance is called Dubai Oud, and this is a very Middle Eastern smelling fragrance. It's not a animalic or fecal oud. It's more of that clean medicinal oud. It smells superb. And I just rolled this on a little bit around my neck. I think I put a little bit on my wrists and it was smelling pretty strong. I went to the gym and a couple of people that I knew in the gym were in this sort of area. It was this, it was this room, not a small room, uh, relatively large and they were working out in a different part of it and they just stopped and said Chris uh, what are you wearing because we can smell it it's really strong and I thought they were gonna say it's a bit overpowering I was a little bit self-conscious about it because it was that strong and I knew it was projecting but they loved it they thought it was great and that gave me the confidence to not shy away from wearing oils and from wearing ouds also had lovely experiences wearing the attars from amouage as you can see these come in very tiny little vials but again they are nuclear these little things are very potent i've worn all of these the vanilla one i think is probably my favorite but i did love the incense one as well you just have to dab a little bit of these on and you're smelling it they last and last and the quality of these amouage attars is just off the charts really good stuff they are going to go and go and not run out anytime soon. Okay, let's talk about this little problem of not being able to find the fragrance you want in oil form because, as I said, not many fragrances do produce an oil version. You can use a clone company. Lots of clone companies just make up the oils and then, as perfumers do, they just add the water and the oils. So they sell spray versions, but often they sell oil versions. The brand that got me into all this, as many of you know, and I highly rate them and their oils, is Perfume Parlor. I've used quite a few of them over the years. This is an example of uh, a few that I have. These are the little bottles, so similar to the Dubai Oud bottle. These are super potent and the ones I've got do smell absolutely fantastic. In particular, they seem to do Nasamato really well. I have Black Afghano 4mm oil, the official one. Perfume Parlor's version is 
so good maybe even smells a little better depending on what you like it's just a slightly harsher it's got a little bit more attitude i think the Nasamato Black Afghano is, is maybe just a touch sweeter, a little smoother, but I, I absolutely love both. The Perfume Parlor version is superb. I also have Duro. I've got the EDP spray bottle from Nasamato and the Perfume Parlor version, again, smells superb. It smells so close and in that constant... Oh, it's good. Strangely, this one maybe isn't quite as harsh as the Nasamato, so it's, it's flipped around a little bit, but it is close and this oil... Oh, it smells fantastic. I had an experience with Perfume Parlor. It was a bad choice of situation because I wore Tuscan leather in their spray form. And then I also got the Tuscan leather oil. I was at this stage, it was a few years ago. I was kind of just getting into fragrances and I really wanted people to notice me. I really wanted people to, to smell me. I was a nuclear bomb of Tuscan leather. And then I went to the cinema with my friend throughout the whole film. I was really conscious about how strong I smelled. I had gone way too far. My friend didn't complain. He likes his fragrances, in particular Tom Ford fragrances, so he didn't mention it, but I could smell myself. The projection was insane. It just kept going on and on. So in that situation, I probably didn't need to double up on the spray and the oil. Tuscan leather is a very potent fragrance anyway, so you wouldn't want to overspray it in any of its forms. Now let's talk about how to go nuclear with your fragrances. If you want to get smelled, then this is how to do it. And I've already touched upon this with my Tuscan leather story. From Perfume Parlor, you can buy the spray or you can use the original version of that fragrance and then just buy the Perfume Parlor clone oil and you can put them on both together. Or as I mentioned earlier, you can put the original spray on and then just put the oil in your pocket. If you wear the oil with the spray together, not only is it going to be a strong smell but you're gonna get the best of both worlds because you're combining the pros of each of the different types of fragrance you're gonna get the bigger initial projection perhaps from the spray but you're gonna get the longevity from the oil so if you want to have the best experience of a particular fragrance if you want to be smelled if you want to smell strong if you want it to last forever to just go on and on then I can highly recommend doing that just choose your fragrance according to your situation maybe don't do it going to the gym or to the cinema or anywhere where you're going to be in a, a closed environment or a more intimate environment. And if you do want to double up, just make sure that when you're doing it, it's appropriate for the situation you're going to be in because the last thing you want to do is choke anyone out. The great thing about Perfume Palette is you can try lots of these different combos because the prices are so low. They're just a few pounds for either the oil or the spray. So you can get a few combos. That's what I did when I was starting out. If you're interested in checking Perfume Parlor out, I will leave my affiliate link in the description. They are a UK based company. Uh, I think they probably will ship to Europe. So just check them out, see where they ship. And uh, yeah, maybe give them a try if you're interested in taking your fragrance wearing to nuclear levels. So which is best, oils versus sprays? It's personal preference. You knew I was going to say that. Some people might like the added longevity and maybe a little bit less projection, although not always the case. Some people may prefer to go for a spray and uh, compromise on the longevity, but have a, a bigger and more widespread dispersion in the first 30 to 60 minutes. If like me, you just can't decide which you like best, oils or sprays, you know, they're both good, then double up. Wear them both, get the best of both worlds. I'd love to hear your oil stories. Have you got any oils that you can recommend to me? Do you think that some oils project just as well as some sprays? Do you only wear oils? Are they better for the skin because you're not putting alcohol on them? So many things to consider. So if you've got experience with wearing perfume oils, then please do let me know. I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you were wondering what the differences are between oils and sprays, I hope this video was useful. If it was, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you do all that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.